It was a terrifying moment because despite all the efforts of Kennedy and Khrushchev to avoid a war, it, 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 what they realized was that you know, when a crisis like that develops, it's out of control. I mean, he inherits an operation uh, that had been actually approved by Eisenhower in March of 1960, had been well advanced by the time Kennedy took over. Um, Kennedy felt that he could not cancel it, in part because he had boxed himself in with such hardline rhetoric, having criticized Nixon for allegedly you know, being too soft on Castro. Initially, Kennedy and his brother, Robert F. Kennedy, the, the Attorney General, were very belligerent, very bellicose. They said, we're getting these missiles out, even if we have to shoot them out. They even leaned towards uh, a surprise airstrike. But gradually, Kennedy and his brother backed off. JFK would afraid that if he, was afraid that if he fired the first shot that killed Russians, who knows where this would go. The response could come in Berlin, it could come against Turkey, it could come against Iran. But America as an ally would feel compelled to raise the stakes again. And no one could see where this could come to an end. And so even at the um, risk of losing the element of surprise, which Kennedy's course would do, because you know, some of the, especially the uniform military had urged a surprise airstrike on the missiles, Kennedy said, we've got to give diplomacy a chance. His vision for the United States at that point was to end the Cold War, to end the war in Vietnam, to end the nuclear arms race, uh, to find a form of peaceful collaboration.